The year was 1827. British plant scientist Robert Brown was working with some pollen grains of a plant named Clarkia Puchella. He kept the grains inside water and looked at them under a very high intensity microscope. He observed that the pollen grains were moving with continuous, random and never-ending motion. At first, he thought that this motion was due to any movement of biological substances ejected from the pollen grains. But when he repeated the same experiments with dust particles and sand, he observed the same motion. So it was not related to any kind of biological or chemical effect. The small particles inside the fluid were going here and there in completely random way. The motion was named Brownian motion after Robert Brown, who discovered it. Some features of this motion was Number 1. It was completely irregular and doesn't even depend on the vibration of the container. Number 2. The smaller the particle size, faster the motion. And 3. More the temperature, the faster the particles move. Any two same sized particle moves equally fast at the same temperature. For decades, this motion remained a mystery. Some mathematicians like Thorpel Thiel and Louis Bachelor tried to find the answer using math, but they didn't end up well. In 1905, a man named Albert Einstein came up with his very own idea and published it as a research paper where he provided the physical reason and mathematical analysis of Brownian motion. By the time of Einstein, the kinetic theory of fluids were developed which suggests that gases and liquids are made of tiny atoms that move freely inside the fluid. That's why any particle inside the fluid is actually inside the ocean of fast-moving molecules. Any particle bigger than the molecules suspended inside the liquid or gas will experience the force due to collision by the nearby fast-moving molecules. If the suspended particle is very big, the force by the molecules of the fluid will act uniformly from all the directions and nothing will happen. But when the particles are colloidal, the force from one side on the particle may be greater than the other side. So there will be an effective force on one specific direction for some time. And again, when the particle moves a little bit due to this force, there will be collision from another direction and the particle will move on another way. This happens so fast that when this is observed under a microscope, the zigzag and continuous motion can be observed. That's how the fluctuating molecules cause the motion. Now Einstein was famous for describing the motion because he developed an equation of this. He set up a relation between the mean square displacement, temperature of the fluid, its viscosity, and radius of the moving particle. The conclusions drawn from his equation was completely synchronized with the experiments. And it was one of the greatest achievements of Einstein because this was a direct proof that atoms and molecules exist.